Hi, in this Affinity Publisher tutorial, we're going to look at how you can create text flow. That is, when you have a text box and you have more text than can fit in that text box, it will automatically flow into the next text box. So I am on a master page right now, and I just have one page in my document and one master page at the moment. I'm going to go to the Frame Text tool and draw out a text box on the left side of my master A. And then you'll see there's a little triangle that pops up here. And when I get close, my cursor changes to a black arrow with a little kind of barbell uh, appearance. I think it's meant to be a chain link. I'm going to click on this triangle. You can see my cursor changed again to have a little red X. And I'm gonna go to the place where I want my next text box and I'm holding out my mouse, holding onto my mouse button as I drag, and you can see the little line connecting the two text boxes. And so I can let go. And now when I move to the move tool, when I click on either of these triangles in either of these text boxes, I can see the link between them. And so when I go over here into my actual document, I can add some pages and let's add four of master A and we'll say, okay. So I'm going to go to page number two and I have loaded up uh, on my clipboard some lorem ipsum text and I am just going to select that and paste. And you can see that I have about a thousand words here. When it got to the bottom here, it moved on to the next page. Now let's go ahead and select this. And I'm just gonna Command A to select it all. And let's just make the font bigger and see what happens. So I'll move over here. You can see now I'm getting the overset text uh, over here on my second text box. This means that there's too much text to fit in these two frames now that I've increased the font size. And it didn't move on to the next page. So here's the little kind of finicky part. Um, if you have a large document, it could be a bit of a pain, but what I would probably do is set this up once uh, on a document and then every time you have a new book that you're trying to set up, you could go back to uh, kind of this blank document that's already all linked. Um, so what I need to do now is I need to click on this little red arrow here and then as I hover over this next text box, you'll see it turns blue. I can click and now my text is moving on to the next page as well. All right, so that is how you create a text flow in a document. So you can set it up on a master, as we did here, but when you actually get into your document, you are going to have to connect your page three to your page four, your page five to your page six, in order to get a continuous flow through an entire book. All right, thank you for watching.